Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to my class guide series here on For Honor. Today we're going to be talking about the Berserker, which is the assassin class for the Vikings. He is very fast and can interrupt most opponent attacks out of their startup, as well as being able to perform a very infinite and very dangerous combo. The Berserker class is great at keeping the pressure on your opponent, causing them to get nervous, which is when they're going to make their mistakes. And like all other assassins, because his attack is so great, his defense is going to be lacking. But that's okay, because all assassin classes have a deflect option, so I'd advise mastering that in order to master this character. As well as mastering the ability to switch up the sides you're attacking from mid-combo, because this character has an infinite combo, and you're going to want to be switching it up, otherwise they will read your attacks and parry you. And that's really the only weakness for the Berserker, just make sure you're switching it up, that way your attacks aren't becoming predictable. Alright guys, we're going to cover the most important combo the Viking has first, which is the Dance of the Paired Blades, which is his infinite combo. Now it's your preference whether you'd like to start with the light or the heavy attack, and it doesn't really matter, either way you just have to keep the sequence going with light and heavy attacks, and keep switching it up, keep switching your sides, that way your opponent gets confused, and they feel pressured, causing them to make mistakes that will ultimately end them. <laughs> Also, I'd like you guys to know that if you attack from above with a heavy attack during the infinite chain, it will end the chain. You cannot connect any further once you've done the upper heavy attack. Moving on to the Bear Mauler, which is the Berserker's 3 hit heavy attack combo. Now honestly, I don't use this combo that much just because I'm a fan of light attacks to initiate combos, but what I usually do is bait them into it by swinging in front of them and trying not to land my first hit, because they always come in to follow up and they always get smacked with the second two. This usually works for me, you can do whatever you like honestly, it's just I'm not a huge fan of this combo, but it's strong. Moving on to the Boar Rush, which is his running attack, just like every other class, every class has a running attack where they can initiate it while not being in guard mode. Which is great for opening battles because most people don't expect a running attack right at the beginning, or it's great for chasing down opponents who run away from you once their health is getting low, and there's nothing more annoying than that. Moving on to the Head Slicer. The Head Slicer is the Berserker's forward dash light attack, so it's great for closing gaps between opponents who are very wary of you and are keeping their distance. I mostly use this against opponents who have really good spacing, or if I want to get a quick hit in just to finish the match. Next up we have the Spin Chop, which is his side dash attack. Now I'm constantly using these abilities with assassins because I like to dodge and attack, it's just what I've always done, so it's great to me that you can actually land an attack no matter what once they've attacked and missed. This ability is great for fighting heavy classes because their attacks are slower and very damaging and you don't want to be trying to block those with an assassin class. Alright guys, moving on to the head crusher, which is the berserker's forward dash heavy attack. Now it looks a lot like the head slicer and attacks a lot like the head slicer. The only difference is it's a heavier hit and it takes a lot longer to land. But during the animation you get hyper armor so even if you get hit during the animation you'll still connect your attack which is great to use it as a finisher because no matter what, it's going to connect unless they parry or block it. Now the final move in the Berserker's arsenal is the Slashing Rush, which is his area attack, and it's utilized by using the light and heavy attack simultaneously while pulling back on the left stick. You do a 360 degree attack while moving backwards, so it's great for escaping situations where you're being overwhelmed. Also you can use it as a forward attack, which I'd advise doing more often, it does a good amount of damage before they realize they have to block. And the final thing I want to cover is the deflect the Berserker has. Like the other assassins, while dodging towards an opponent's attack, you use the deflect. The only difference is he gets an automatic guard break instead of an attack. Which in my opinion is so overpowered, because the guard break allows you to follow up with whatever you wish. It's kind of like a do whatever you want kind of card. And the fact that it's connected from a deflect is amazing. So if your opponent attacks, you pretty much have the ability to guard break as long as you've mastered deflecting. But yeah guys, I'm pretty sure I covered the basics with the Berserker. Let me know what you think of the video in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, throw a like. It really helps small channels like mine grow. And I want to bring you guys as much content as I possibly can. As always guys, thanks for watching. Chase the bro out.